Hello everyone. I am actually on my way to Aboriginal Music Week's networking dinner for performers and invited guests only. I'm going by myself, which I'm very, very, very nervous about. Nonetheless, very excited to meet everyone and to have food and to hopefully have a good night. It sounds like it's going to be lots of fun, so, so I'll see you guys later. Bye! Now, you are, uh, unlike Jade, not a musician, you are a hoop dancer. Yes. So you started that how long ago? And you've, You're you based out of Winnipeg, yes? Yes. Okay, so tell us how you got started with that. Yeah, so I've been dancing for about 10 years now. I started when I was about 13, 14 years old, um, and I've been dancing ever since, off and on. Um, another hoop dancer in the community sort of showed me the basics, and I wanted to continue learning myself, so I started teaching myself as well. Good on you. So how did you get, like, what, how did you get started? What made you decide this is the direction you wanted to go in? Um, I just felt very connected to the dance. I really liked what it, the teachings that it brought, um, the significance it brought to myself and my family and my community. Um, plus I didn't see many female hoop dancers, so I kind of wanted to bring the female hoop dancers back into the light and have fun with it as well. And you've experienced quite a bit of success since then, haven't you? Oh, uh, a little bit. I've been able to travel and go down to the um, competition in Phoenix, Arizona, um, and definitely share it with my audiences. Are you teaching uh, other kids to hoop dance or other folks to hoop dance at this time? Yeah, I have two programs running in the city, actually. Okay. Um, one with the University of Winnipeg, where I teach young women, and one with the city of Winnipeg, where I just teach some inner city youth, all ages, all genders. That's fantastic. How, do, how would someone get involved in that? Um, well, the City of Winnipeg one is usually in the Leisure Guide. Okay. Um, so that is starting up again in September, so that's exciting. And the University of Winnipeg one is run through Wishy Wakanuk Center, so they usually have the information at that building as well. How many hours a day do you have to practice? Quite a bit. It's got to be hard. I yeah. see that going on and I'm like, oh my gosh, you have to have some serious coordination there. Yeah, that's lots of fun. Yeah. So, Fairly physical too, I'm guessing, right? Fairly decent cardio workout? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> you do any uh, like other training? Um, I'm not in the best of shape as you can probably see. It's maybe not, maybe not the activity for me. Yeah, lots of running, lots of training, lots of practicing. You run? You have to run? Yeah. Oh, good God. To get that cardio level up. <laughs> I bet. That's why you look so, so hot right there. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. So you're performing for Aboriginal Music Week. Where are you performing and when? Um, I am performing tomorrow at the picnic in the park around 2 o'clock, a little after 2 o'clock. And that's at uh, St. John's Park? Yes. Okay. Yeah, right there on Main, right next to or Main and Mountain, next to Cross Street. Um, it's a nice little park. And again, there's barbecues, there's yeah. activities for kids, so it's a, a whole day of events and uh, I think also Ray St. Geraint is uh, performing Indeed very close. Well. Yeah. Alright, and if you guys want to fill us in on, are we missing something? No, not that I can think of. Okay, come on. 
Say hi. Yes. And uh, have a good time for it. Good luck tomorrow. Have fun. Thank you. You're welcome. Look forward to that. Jordan, we're done. We are done. Have yourself a fantastic uh, weekend. I'll be down at the uh, block party. On uh, Austin Street Street. Festival. I'll be hosting friends on Friday tonight with Jeff Wood. Make sure you get in those requests. Fancy Jordan of the day. Talk to me and my... here inside my new apartment. Today is time for another show with Aboriginal Music Week. So today is their final day. It's their community wrap-up picnic in the park. I'm super excited. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be lots of friendly faces there, lots of people who I know. Um, and I'm going to be hooping it up there for the community to wrap up Aboriginal Music Week and to just have a good time. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. So I just finished getting ready. I finished braiding my hair, finished putting a face on. So now I'm just waiting for my ride and I'm going to head over there. So I'll see you there. Spence. My spirit name is Sacasteo Esqueo, which in Cree translates to early morning sun woman or dawn woman. Um, and I'm both Cree and Soto. So from my mother's side, I'm from a place called Matthias Cologne Cree Nation, represented, woo, uh, also known as Pukitawagan, Manitoba. And then from my father's side, I'm from a community known as Lake St. Martin First Nation. But I was born and raised in Winnipeg, Manitoba here, and I've been dancing for, I'm going to share the hoop dance with you today, and I've been hoop dancing for about 10 years now, off and on, at many different places, and I'm so happy to be able to share it with all of you today here at this wonderful event and to kind of wrap up Aboriginal Music Week. That's really, it was a really awesome week. I would like to thank everyone who is a part of Aboriginal Music Week for inviting me to dance here today. Um, a big thank you to Alan and to Michael and to all these wonderful people here who are making this event a success. So, If someone in the community was looking for healing or if the dancer themselves was looking for healing, they would come to this dancer who would then dance this dance for them and it would show them the answers that they were looking for, the guidance, the support, the healing that they were searching for. So it's a very healing and sacred dance in that way, a ceremony in itself. Um, and it was also used as a storytelling dance. So all of you need to use your imagination and see what types of formations and objects that you can see through what I'm making with my hoops. And every hoop dancer is different. So all of you who've seen the hoop dance before, my hoop dance will probably be entirely different because every hoop dancer has their own story to tell. Every hoop dancer has different formations their own twist to it.
all this? Well, isn't this incredible?